Today we're going to be talking about lighting, in specific ambient, specular, and diffuse lighting. Together these components are the basis for the lighting we see in every day on every object that we encounter. There are other factors in lighting such as material of the object and the transmissions through the object, but for today we'll stick with the ambient, specular, and diffuse in a normal sense that you would see it. Let's start off with the diffuse reflection lighting. Diffuse reflection is when light is scattered evenly in all directions after reflecting off an object. Diffuse lighting gives a highlight on the object that makes it look 3D as we're used to seeing in real everyday life. As you can see here, without lighting you can't see anything, but add in diffuse reflection from a light and you can see a highlight of the object giving it a 3D look. This is also a help of shading, but that's another topic. Now we'll take a look at our specular and how it adds into the lighting. As we showed, diffuse lighting reflects evenly to highlight the whole object, making a cone of light around the object. Specular works differently than diffuse by reflecting about the normal rather than reflecting evenly across the object. The specular lighting is more intense depending on the angle. If the eye is directly in the reflection ray, then there will be a complete spot of light on the object. But if the eye is not in a position to be hit by the ray that reflects off the normal, then the specular component will barely show up. This is unlike diffuse, which highlights the object more evenly across. And this is both specular and diffuse lighting. Now lastly, we will be adding in ambient to the entire equation to finish up our lighting. Ambient lighting is very hard to properly achieve in graphics because it is the light arrays that bounce off other objects and eventually hit the object in question. In OpenGL, a constant amount is added into the light because it is computationally inefficient to produce real ambient light. If we add ambient light to our sphere, it just adds some brightness to the entire shape. Now, if we put ambient, specular, and diffuse lighting together, we get the final image and our sphere has proper lighting. This concludes our demonstration of how ambient, specular, and diffuse lighting affect an object in OpenGL. Thank you.